So over here we have uh, prawns in mustard. Uh, this is the secret ingredient, if you like, for all Bengali cooking. The oil has to be mustard oil. Um, other than that, the, the dishes, uh, the spices rather, are, are really basic. So I've just chucked in some onions, uh, some green chilli, uh, some turmeric, garam masala, and a tiny bit of red chilli. Uh, this is about to go in the oven and then when it comes out I'm going to mix it in some rice to make a prawn palau. And how long in the oven? Um, that should be about 10 minutes I would have thought. And then it'd be ready to serve it for people to enjoy? Yes. So this is a vegan dish that I am preparing now. Um, it's going to be a vegetable kofta curry. Uh, the ingredients, or the main ingredients rather, are from my garden during lockdown. So the tomatoes and marrow. Um, and that's the sauce. And I'm throwing in what we call kofta balls. And when it's finished, it should be a lot redder than now, but healthy, fresh, and homemade. So, as uh, we had a long day of filming today, uh, the star cell, the nibbles that we've got over here, uh, are what I'm calling kale pakora bites. Uh, in every Indian household, a staple is ground flour, and I literally chucked some kale that was in the fridge in some ground flour, put some spices in, and fried these pieces. <laughs> this dessert is gulab jamun. Uh, I was really pleased to hear that two of the judges earlier today were familiar with it. Um, again, not home cooked by me, but definitely home cooked. Typical Indian dessert that can be had after dinner, but lots of families have it at tea time along with the pakoras. <laughs>